this is Mohamed Abu from Visual Edge and today we are going to create a glassy curtain effect inside of After Effects. So fire up your After Effects and let's get started. So here we are in After Effects and I have loaded in the footage in which we are going to work today. So first of all we will create a new composition, we will name this footage and we'll take the width to 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and a 15 seconds duration we'll hit ok we'll take the footage and drop it over here now we are done now we'll take this footage comp and again drag it to a new composition and we'll close this new one to the here and right click composition settings and we'll name this final comp we'll go to the effects and preset panel and search for 3d camera tracker and we'll drop this over here and in the advanced section we'll turn on the detail analysis and just wait for a moment all right we are done now so i guess we have got a pretty good track although the points are very less so we want our curtains to be approximately over here so we'll right click create a solid and a camera and to track solid we will hit R and zero out everything and we'll just make match this with our perspective put it over here resize this thing put it above like just like this and hit T and just decrease down the opacity and now if we hit play no increase the scale we'll put this above more maybe more play until you have it matched with the perspective until it stays to the ground we'll hit the position and we'll just bring this closer quite close to the camera yeah there we go let me resize this this is very important so there we want our curtain to be all right now we'll create a new composition and we'll make this 4k just multiply this by 2 1920 multiply this by 2 once again and then hit ok so the secret behind the curtain is nothing else but fractal noise but before let me reset right click composition settings and we'll name this curtain it is always a good idea to rename your composition and layers as well right click new solid name this curtain base and the color doesn't matter hit ok go to the effects and preset panel and search for fractal noise drop this and go to the transform uncheck the uniform scaling Decrease the scale width to around 25 and increase the scale height to around 2000. There we go. And now we'll decrease the complexity to 2, change the fractal type to swirly and the noise type to spline. Now decrease down the contrast, increase the brightness just a bit, make this look very settled. Then we will decrease the scale height to 1500, scale width to somewhere around 23, yeah, there we have it. And now we want this to evolve, so hit alt on the keyboard and click the stopwatch in the evolution and now type expression time multiplied by 30 and hit enter. Now if we hit play we've got a little evolution going on if you want this much faster then change this to 40 yeah I'm good with that right click new adjustment layer go to the effects and preset panel and search for ripple change take this ripple effect under the discord and drag and drop it to the adjustment layer 
take the center of the ripple somewhere around here take the radius all the way up to 100 take the speed up to 1.5 the width eyeball this thing 75 should be enough take the wave height just a bit 32 is fine now we'll go to the project panel and then again create a new comp this time we'll take this 2000 by 2000 and name this curtain final hit ok all right let's go to the composition settings again and we'll take this to 15 not not 15 1100 sorry for the all right now take the curtain comp and drag and drop it over here as it's a 4k comp it is way too large now we'll screen down just a bit we don't want to see this jagged edges so we'll take this and just make the just like yeah 50 5 is enough hit the button and now next we'll right click go to new create adjustment layer and then we'll take displacement map and drag and drop it over the adjustment layer the displacement light layer set that to curtain and take this red to luminance green to luminance and just increase this to 20 by 30 to get a weird distortion just like that we'll go to a final comp and then we'll drag and drop our curtain final layer to the composition and hit F4 and select this 3D layer icon and it's vanished just try to make that visible it's way too far I see we'll take this track solid hit P copy the position and paste that to curtain final there we go and now hide the track solid we don't need it anymore hit the scale button and just increase the scale put it like this hit play decrease the opacity for now just for now if you want or just increase the opacity hit, hit f4 again and change the blend mode to classic color dodge we'll take the resolution and put it to half all right we can see our base effect next what we want to do is take this and go to the fx and preset panel and search for roughen edges drag and drop this to a curtain final increase the border quite a bit increase the scale the complexity just a bit not much edge sharpness factor influence just play with these settings until you like and then again alt click the evolution and give it a time multiplied by 30 all right we are good to go now now we, we want this to touch the grounds and give it a glowing edgy look so we'll duplicate this cut and final and wait just before a quick tip if you are if you think that this is too much then just go to the effects and preset panel and give it a curves adjustment layer above the rough and edges and just decrease down the rgb channel just a bit this is totally your personal preference and then I want this more to wrap around the thing so we'll go to the effects and PC panel and search for mesh warp and drag and drop this over here and then we'll go to the first frame and just take this pull these things 
just a bit not too much and this will give you a curtainy look just go to the first frame hit the distortion mess keyframe icon go to six frame or so and just I will do some manual adjustment I'm just trying to eyeball all this thing and then go to just like this hit U and then take this keyframe put it over when your subject passes the camera like over the 10 second go to the first frame fit to the comp now if you hit play we have started to see something all right this is too much so i will take the curves adjustment layer just pull this down a bit all right now we will duplicate this layer double click on this box icon then we will get a mask and now i will just select these two things and just go one step ahead and then under the mask setting change it to subtract if you also can't see this effect just try to turn off the rough edges and this thing might work now if you hit play now we are getting something you can always play with the settings and choose whatever you like now we'll go to the effects and preset panel and search for glow drag and drop this decrease the threshold to around 20 increase the radius to around 20 as well or just 45 now if we hit play we got a cool edge with our effect now we want the background to distort as the only thing common yeah the only thing noticeable in a transparent object is its refractive index so we will duplicate the curtain final once again and then we will delete the glow and hit m and we will delete the mask also delete duplicate the 3d camera tracker and then we will select both of these right click pre-composition and then we will name this curtain displays and hit ok double click this layer and we will again put the blend mode to normal and then we will again go to the final comp let's close every comp to avoid confusions and then we will hide this layer as we don't need this right click new adjustment layer and put this above the footage go to the effects and preset panel and search for displace sorry displacement map drag and drop this above the adjustment layer icon and then we'll take the source to cut and displacement and we'll use luminance channel again to the max horizontal displacement to zero and then pull the vertical displacement to minus 17 or so and now we have distortion also and there we go we have successfully created a glassy cut and distort effect one of my talented senior Sharindi she asked me she sended me a video of red giant and they use their own plugins and tools to create this effect well that was quite easy and well more professional and realistic than this but she wanted to get a more procedural approach and she doesn't want to use any other third party plugins so I asked her so she told me to do this and thank you so much and if anyone who is viewing this needs to learn any effect please contact me on instagram and send me whatever you want to learn i will try to make that effect soon so thank you so much don't forget to hit like and subscribe the channel and share this video if you learn something new see you the next time and until then bye bye